guys welcome to my channel and welcome to another video so today i'm going to do uh an episode of my if i was you what would i do um about a week ago i did a commentary video on a young lady wine glass and chill she had posted a depression cling with me video now I was new to the concept of depression clean with me, but since I have seen one or two other people use the terminology depression clean, clean with me. So basically it is doing a house cleaning after a bout of serious depression to where you are not very mobile and don't have a lot of energy. So, you know, things kind of go by the wayside. Okay. So got it. Now, when she showed her house, I'll be honest, it was appalling. Um, it didn't look like a, a situation of, you know, I just was in the bed for a few days. I mean, I too suffer from depression. And I know the um, after effects of, of that. Now, the difference between her and I, I do have a service that comes in. Also, the difference between her and I is that I don't have three uh, mobile active children in my house all the time. Um, about two weeks ago, I did have my god babies. It's three little uh, little ones, two girls and a boy. Um, a two-year-old, a six-year-old, and a five-month-old. So the five-month-old basically wasn't messing up nothing, uh, just spitting up and over everything. Um, the little boy, the worst thing he was doing was, uh, uh, using the bathroom on himself and then the other baby. So <clears throat> I want to talk about how I would have handled the situation of what she was going through. First of all, I'm going to just start with my house would have never looked like that. And I'm not saying that to be rude or mean to her. I'm just being honest. I would not have allowed my situation or my home to be like that. I wouldn't have been able to function. Uh, even as a person with depression with absolutely no energy, honey, I would have went and got a hotel. Some burnt that bad boy down. Some. Um, I don't know. I would. I wouldn't have been able to function. Now, let's just for the sake of argument say that uh, her man was not there. I don't know his part in all of it. She insists that he helps. So we're, we can only go by what she says. I don't know where he was during this time period that her house got dirty, but whatever. Anyway, so if it was me and, and I was a young mom and I had children in my home, I was depressed. I was, uh, you know, had low energy, couldn't do anything with laying in bed. The first thing I would have done is made my kids come in the room with me and close the door. Um, isolation would have allowed me to consistently uh, watch over my babies while I'm in the bed. They didn't have to stay in. I wouldn't make them stay in the bed with me necessarily, but play in the room. Also, what that would do is if they're going to dirty up something, they're going to dirty up where we are now. They're going to dirty up my room. And whenever I get the energy to clean up or whenever I can pay somebody to clean my room, it's just this one location. I won't have to worry about my room, the living room, their room, all of that. Isolation. That's the first thing I would have done. Number two, when it came time for my kids to eat, I would have ordered out. I would have door dashed or something like that. Or I would have had what I call quick eat foods. Things like um, Lunchables, uh, and cold cuts, bologna, etc. Hot dogs. Um, something that, I mean, if it's that bad and it's just me and my children, honey, I probably would have had me a damn microwave in my damn room to make sure that even when uh, I'm cooking or or if I tell them to put something in the microwave, I could still supervise. Or either I would have used my uh, camera. But see, the camera that I have in my kitchen is near the microwave. So I wouldn't have really been able to see what they were doing. And that would have concerned me. Especially if I'm basically on my behind because I'm so depressed, I can't really move around like that. Depression can knock the wind out of you to where you can do nothing but lay on your back. I've had those days. <clears throat> when it came to dirty clothes and stuff, I would have had them put 
all the clothes in my dirty clothes hamper. And like I said, by them being in the one room with me, that's where uh, all of the untidiness would have been located. Now, she had a small baby. I don't know what she did with the small baby, if she just had the baby in there. Uh, if that's the case, <clears throat> I would have had the, um, it's this little stackable container compartment container that you can put your baby's milk in you can break down the uh milk the powder for the milk by feed and then i would have had the bottles with the water and i would have had that right there with me so when it's time to feed my baby i could feed him i would have had the uh, wipes whatever i needed i would have had it right there in a little um uh either a drawer a canister or something uh uh organized or something i would have had everything my baby would need and I would have isolated us to that area. Um, if I would have dozed off, they still would have been there. If they would have got too loud, they would have woke me up. Um, it would have allowed me to be able to see my children, especially if I cannot call mom or somebody to help me and come get the babies while I'm going through this. The main thing that I would have wanted to do as a person suffering from depression is isolate my children from that. Because sometimes kids take on personalities and take on situations that aren't theirs because of their experience in it. I wouldn't have wanted my kids to feel it was okay to feel the way I feel, especially if they weren't diagnosed of that. So the first thing I think I would have tried to do is when I'm going through bouts of depression like that is get my kids away from me because I would not want them to have to experience that nor see me like that. Depression is can is and can be very uh rough on you emotionally. And it can really affect your kids because your kids don't understand why you have no energy, why you can't get up and do this and that. You know, so um but she may not have had that option and it's a lot of moms that don't have that option for one reason or another. So that's how I would have handled it without that. But uh, basically, that's the difference of what I would have done. I would have isolated my kids to a smaller area. Um, I would have had somebody in my family that I could try to call and ask them if I can pay them to clean up the rest of my house. Or I would have had a cleaning service to try to keep my house clean, knowing that my depression and anxiety is so bad that it uh, puts me on my behind uh, a lot. So with me... And now in my life, like I said, I do have somebody that does uh, clean my house. But uh, when the kids come, their toys still get all over the place. But before the end of the day, I just have them put their toys and stuff up. And primarily the rest of the house can stay clean. Now, the floors obviously still get dirty. Um, I do have a robot vacuum that can go through there, but I don't really like to use it when the kids are around. Um, I have a vacuum cleaner, I have a shampooer, um, and I have a mopping system to mop. So, um, you know, areas of the house can still get dirty with the kids being around, but unfortunately, um, that's just the life you live when you have children. Now, I do have a camera in my living room, so if I need to see in there what they're doing, if they're not in here with me, then I would be looking through the camera. But her situation, obviously, is different. And I just wanted to uh, 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 do a segment of what I would do uh, in hopes to give others idea on, on how to deal with the depression as a parent in today's society. So I hope this was a helpful video for you guys. Um, if it uh, was uh, great, if not, and you have other questions, do not hesitate to ask me and uh, we can discuss below um and also if you guys are interested in the other channel that does the depression clean with me just let me know i'll give you that as well um thanks uh guys um thank you for taking the time to check out my channel if you are new here welcome and i hope you hit that subscribe button if you've been here before welcome back and everybody please 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 hit that like button for me See you guys in the next video. Bye.